so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! And it looks like there's a dino behind me! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah! It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex! <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. <laughs> We're here at a dig site, yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. <laughs> Brush. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Huh. Are those fingers? Whoa, <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa, did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Whoa, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, Stegosaurus. Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone, but this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was and sediment and different material fills it up and turns into a rock. And then a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask a dino expert, they can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa. I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm. Oh, I see someone. Maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Kevin. Oh. And I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way. It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> the Edmontosaurus is so big. <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there and 
It looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing. Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants, but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> well, so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> and I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi. Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look. We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big. And I bet they're going to be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did. They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> hmm. And it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> 
Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa! Did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges, and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw, so he can open up really wide. <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> OK, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>
Oh, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Paris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. 
Whoa! Check out Cisco! Wow! Whoa, so majestic! Wow! Hey, Cisco! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Wow, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs, <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert, yeah. Whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguin. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye.
much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Whippy!